Hi everyone, I'm Trish from Tap HR and this is my first ever YouTube video, so I'm very, very excited. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos around key things for um, SMEs to be aware of when they're dealing with HR issues. I'm going to focus on specific issues in each of the videos. So this one is around disciplinary uh, and the, my top four tips or four things to make sure that you do when you're handling a disciplinary issue. So my first one is make sure that you've got a policy. Now I know not every organisation straight off is going to have a disciplinary policy, but if you don't, just make sure that you're following um, the ACAS guide on um, discipline and grievance and you can find that really easily on their website. Second one for me is make sure that you invite the person that's coming to a disciplinary, uh, to the disciplinary itself in writing and also make sure they're aware of the outcome or the possible outcomes of the meeting. It's really key to make sure they're possible outcomes. So it's important for the person to understand that they're coming to a formal meeting, what a possible outcome of that meeting could be and what the general structure of the meeting is going to be. So make sure that your letter outlines what it is that you're going to do. When you go to the meeting, make sure that you take notes. Um, and a key point is make sure that when the meeting is done, you send a copy of the notes to the individual and get them to sign and verify that they are an accurate reflection of the meeting. I always give people the chance to make sure they can kind of provide any updates or amendments and make sure that you note those. But it's really key that if you do get into a really tricky and sticky situation and you get to a tribunal, that you're able to show that you've got an accurate record of what was discussed and that the employee agreed with that at the time. Um, and the final thing for me is just keep it confidential. So I've worked with a lot of organisations in the past, most of them are really, really good at this kind of thing. Um, but in some instances, there's been a little bit of a lack of confidentiality. And I think disciplinary is a really difficult time for um, an employee because they're going through something that's not very nice. Um, but equal, equally, they're going to be a difficult time for you as an employer and your managers that are managing this situation. So always keep things as confidential as you can. So my top four tips, Follow a process. If you don't have one, make sure that you get hold of the ACAS guide. Make sure that you write to the employee um, to make them aware of the process. And I suppose another key thing is also make sure they're aware of their right to be accompanied to the meeting. Third one is make sure that you take notes and that after the, the meeting, the individual agrees and signs to agree um, that the notes are an accurate reflection of the meeting and also then keep it confidential. So if you are going through um, a disciplinary process and you need some help, obviously feel free to get hold of myself at TAPHR. You can email me at hi there at taphr.co.uk. You can get in contact via our website, which is www.taphr.co.uk. If you need any help, advice or guidance, just feel free to reach out. Have a great day.